Here I am. I'm Roger Rettig, and um, I turned professional back in London in 1959, so I've been at this a long time. It's 2016 now. Anyway, but um, I well remember first time we happened to encounter the Beatles. And uh, I was working with a singer who'd had a bunch of big hits. So I had a good job, you know, I was, <clears throat> I was in Clover and uh, doing pretty well. And um, we were playing a show at a ballroom in Hull in the north of England, in the Majestic Ballroom. Can't remember the date exactly, but it was early 1963. February 13th, I want to say, but anyway, it's around then. Anyway, we're busy sound checking and rehearsing in the afternoon, and these two chaps stroll in, and they're standing there, and one of them says, says to me, are you guys playing here tonight? in a thick Liverpool accent, which I won't attempt. <laughs> and uh, I said, yeah. And he said, oh. And he was pretty upset because he said, oh, we've just driven over from Liverpool. And I said, who are you guys? And he said, we're the Beatles. Well, at this point, they'd already, their second record was already you know, crashing up the charts. So they were already famous. Uh, this would have been, and I really don't know what that record was. Other people might tell me. I thought it was Please Please Me, but I might be wrong. And uh, I just remember thinking, yeah, oh, that's great. You guys are having hit record. I'm really pleased for you. Um, of course, they went on to take over the world. But any anyway, at this point, we uh, John, this turned out to be John and Paul. And John was pretty upset that he'd come all the way from Liverpool for nothing because we were, I was working with a singer, by the way, called Eden Kane, who had a bunch of big hits back then. And uh, he was pretty upset, but Paul McCartney calmed him down saying, don't forget, John, we're getting paid now, whatever. So clearly some they were under Brian Epstein's wing by then and some kind of, they could count on their money, whatever happened. They were being cosseted at this point, but anyway, and they, did, they knew who we were, because I remember John saying, oh yeah, you're the guys with the great guitars. And I've always stuck in my mind, because we did have great guitars, me and the other guitar player had two big Gibson arch tops. No one else had Gibson arch tops. Everyone had Fenders and what have you. We had Gibson arch tops, real top of the line stuff. But anyway, and we had this little conversation and and off they went. And the interesting thing to me is that I checked once in the Beatles Chronicles. The book is about as thick as this. And I checked that date. And you know, they're still credited with having played at the Majestic Ballroom Hull on that day. And I promise you, they never did. <laughs> they just came in the front door, had a 20 minute conversation with us and went on their way back to Liverpool. We played there, I promise.